Hey loves, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Love Dot Tamara. If you're new to my channel, hi guys, welcome. My name is Tamara, and today we're going to be doing a What's in My iPhone video. Now, if you haven't seen my unboxing my iPhone 11, I suggest you go check that out. No pressure, but if you want to go check it out, I'll link it in the description box down below and also in the iCard. Now, I have the purple iPhone 11. This is the case that I have. And I purchased this case off of Amazon. It gives you a type of Bosco girl type of vibe, which I really love. And one of the things that I really like about this case is not only that it protects my phone, but it it's cute. Like I wanted a clear case, but I didn't want it to be plain. So I got this clear case. It clearly shows that, you know, my phone is purple and that's what I wanted. And then it has all these cute little designs. So I got this from Amazon. I'll link it down below if you are interested in purchasing in purchasing it. It was very inexpensive. It wasn't that much. So this right here, this is my lock screen. Yes, giving you look serving. If you want to get a better look at the picture, follow me on Instagram. But that was me on my birthday. I had went to DC and that was me taking pictures after dinner. So When I first unlock my phone, this is the screen that you have, it's calendar, and I just change the color every time I change my color theme, theme on my phone. And then as you can see, I also have two other little gadget things from Widget Smith, which is this cute little picture right here. I also took this picture that same day. As you can see, it clearly matches the outfit. Like, it's the same. And then I have this cute little quote, quote right here. It says, as much as the world fails you, you never regret having a good heart. And I just thought that was really sweet and really relatable. So yeah. So this page right here, I just have all of my um <clears throat> the main apps that I use that are in like a um that are in folders. So this one right here has a camera um emoji. I have Google Photos, photos and camera. Google Photos is uh basically an app where you can back up your videos photos so you can have more storage on your phone and i like to use this because i'm not going to be paying on 99 cents on 199 no no nothing for some storage when let's be honest i got a lot of storage on my phone but like they be saying that you don't have and it's really not even the phone itself it's really your iCloud so i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna back it up on google photos and delete it from my phone period we got photos. I ain't really got a lot of pictures, to be honest. Like, this is all I have. Some stuff from some videos. And these are some pictures that me and my boyfriend have taken. Y'all should go follow our Instagram. We haven't been consistent at all. But I want us to start taking more pictures and stuff like that. So, yeah. And then we got the camera. <laughs> okay. And then this one right here, I just named the beauty rolls. I mean, there's no reason. I mean, no reason at all. I just named it that. So this right here has all of my emails. Outlook, I use that for school. So it's for my school email. I have Gmail, that's for my personal emails. And then I have just mail, which is what automatically comes on here, but it's logged into my YouTube email, I believe. Okay, and then we have this folder right here. It's, ed it's all of the apps that I use for editing. So I have iMovie, a lot of people use that. It's very popular. We have InShot. I really don't use this as much now I think about it. But I like to use it sometimes for my, uh, not for my videos, but like for when I do my thumbnails. I use Pixar, Pixar. I love Pixar. At first I used to hate it, but that was when I didn't really know how to do thumbnails. And I might actually do a whole video on how to do that. I know a lot of people have made this video, but I feel like what I have to say is very relevant. So, note to self, do that. Okay, so I use Pixar and then I have Fonto. I'm pretty sure a lot of people know about Fonto. Fonto is very helpful. Then we got Magic Eraser. Magic Eraser is basically an app where you can, um, like you take a picture and then you just erase the background so let's say if i want to take this picture right here but i didn't want the background i would just you know put it through the app and then i could just erase what i want you can also do it on pixar too but 
I don't like how the way it is. I like getting better on Magic Eraser. And then we got YouTube Studio, which is basically what you can use to track your subscribers, look at your comments, and look at your analytics, and all that good stuff. And also you can uh, upload your thumbnails through it. You can fix your um, descriptions and all that stuff. And then we have Velo. I only use this for like when I want to do like pop-up words and make it look fancy and have it moving and stuff. So, I mean, I know a lot of people use it to actually edit their videos, but that's like the only thing that I use for this app. Okay, and then we got this right here. I got the money, you know, uh, you know, money. So, <clears throat> the first app right here, this is my Bank of America app. You know, it just allows me to look at all my transactions, allows me to, you know, see all of my history and look at my credit score and see how much money I got in the bank, all that good stuff. And then we got Cash App. Everybody know what Cash App is. It's the same thing, basically, except for minus the transactions. So just an app where people can send you money through. We have Fetch Rewards, which is basically an app where you can scan your receipts and then get points for it and the more points you get you can use those points to purchase items i haven't spent my points at all i really don't even know how you do it so i'm gonna have to figure that out because i'm getting a lot of points and then we have teamwork this is the app that i use for one of my jobs which is basically where you can check the schedule check you know shifts that you want to pick up and things like that then we have care credit this is basically an app for um, people that don't have insurance and you may need a little money, you know, like let's say like, um, well actually you can use it not even just for a person, you can use it for your pets too. So recently I had to put one of the baby bunnies down. So um, they had gave him some medicine and he just went to sleep and I use that card for that. And also like, let's say if I, like for me, I've been working on trying to get um, my braces so if I wanted to, I could use that card to pay off my braces and then I would pay off the card, but it will help towards my credit score as well. So just put a number credit. Okay, and then we got this, it's blue. There's no reason why I named it. I mean, I guess I'm just weird, I don't know. Okay, so all this is stuff that I used to watch. So I watch HBO. Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, Disney Plus. Right now on Netflix, I'm currently watching Vampire Diaries. I've started the show over I don't know how many times, but this is the farthest I've ever gotten. I'm actually on season four, going on season five, and it's getting crazy. Like I, I just don't even know what to say. Um on HBO Max not too long ago, I was watching Insecure, which is such a good show, and I'm so ready for another season to come out. Let's see, was I watching? No, I was watching I ain't cool. Oh, there's that new movie by with that black guy in it. Uh Soul. That's a good movie. So yeah. Alright, and swiping over, we have this gadget right here. It says notes. I just put it right here so like if I want to look at my notes, I'm not gonna just click on it. Then we have the app store, the weather, we have the Amazon app, we have reminders, we have posts. Post is basically an app where um I can see my grades, I can see when teachers upload things, I can see assignments, all that type of stuff. And it, I really don't be on it, but it, it gives me reminders of when stuff is due because I'm not even gonna lie, I be forgetting about assignments sometimes, so yeah. And we got Chick-fil-A app. I just realized, you know, if you eat out at a certain place, you know, like everybody has their favorite fast food restaurant. Well, not everybody, but you know, Typical people have their favorite restaurant. Down, see if they have an app and download the app. And every time you go, like you can pay through the app, you can scan most likely, you can get points for it, and then eventually you'll get free food. So I mean, why not like get your money's worth? So I eat Chick Fil A a lot. So you know, when I go, I scan or I just order through the app and I get points for that too. Then we got the clock. We got free prints. Free prints is basically where you can go to print out pictures that you want off of your phone and it's not exactly free but the only thing that you literally only pay for is shipping and shipping can be like four or five dollars and you can get like a hundred pictures for like five dollars or like ten dollars okay like this is still then we got this app down here well this folder right here is called iSocial and I put a little butterfly 
beside it because you know like social butterfly so i have instagram we got facebook we got snapchat i don't even use snapchat like that i wish i had my old snapchat but i can't get into it the only way i can get into it is if i had my old phone number and i can't get my old phone number i can't get my old phone number back so oh well so i just use snapchat for you know when i just want to take pictures and maybe if i want to like use it to edit certain stuff because snapchat has good good different little things that you can do on that and we got phone we got facetime we got messages we got contacts we got pinterest pinterest is the old freaking g pinterest help you do anything pinterest is great for inspiration pinterest is great for when you want to learn how to do stuff it's basically like youtube but like i was gonna say they don't have videos but they do have videos but like it's kind of like youtube you know and we got group me group me i just use for like different organizations that i'm in and stuff like that then now here we got music and podcasts yeah i've been listening to podcasts lately it's it's relaxing i like it i'm just trying to find like some people that i like like i haven't really found anybody that i like because i want to do some i want to see some podcasts about you know like how to learn how to get more money motivation lifestyle you know stuff about growth you know college you know all types of stuff like that so i haven't really found but i really like it music wise i have discovered this new uh artist he's been out for a while i'm pretty sure a lot of y'all know but his name is pronounced Gibeon, i believe and after i heard that one song on tiktok something anniversary I was obsessed and I was like, I gotta listen to more of his music. So I listened to his most recent album and I'm obsessed. That's pretty much everything. Everything that's on my iPhone. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, click that bell notification, and make sure you subscribe. Okay? Because you know you want to see more of me because I like it here, we like it here. And you'll like it here too. So like, why not join? You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel the vibes? No? No, you don't have to. No pressure. But it'll be awesome if you would join the game. So, um, yeah, do all those things. Y'all take care. Be safe. Okay? And I will see y'all in another video. Peace out.